Hi, this is Terry, and today I'd like to talk about using quick parts in Outlook 2010 to make your work go faster when a semester gets underway. Oftentimes faculty members ask me if there's some way they can uh, store uh, snatches of text, paragraphs that answer certain questions, a frequently asked question sort of a thing, uh, but some quick way to paste them into their emails so they don't have to keep typing the same information over and over. And uh, the good news is there is and has been for a long time uh, we recommend using quick parts in Outlook 2010 or Word 2010 also. Uh, the technique I'm about to demonstrate can be used very effectively in Word um, for commenting on student papers and so forth. But we want to show specifically the application in Outlook 2010 in email. What you're looking at is a screen and email form that is an email um, up on the screen uh, that I have called quick parts, if you no notice the subject of it. And it's not one I intend to m email to anyone. It's one I'm using to type uh, various paragraphs. The first paragraph uh, is the answer to the question, I'm having difficulty logging in. What should I do? Uh, the second paragraph uh, is meant to answer the question, why can't I log into my course? I just signed up, but it's not available. I haven't made it available. Uh, but I need to write that uh, out to many students uh, every semester. The third paragraph is a rather long answer uh, to students who want to add my course. If I'm uh, accepting ads, I need to send them a permission number. The permission number will be placed where those five X's are, that with the red jaggy underline. Uh, I could have used a form field, but let's not make it more complicated than it needs to be. Uh, I'm just putting this, these five X's here as a placeholder where I will place the permission number. And I can uh, paste this entire block of text, these three blocks of text, uh, into an email that I'm sending rather than typing all this stuff every time I'm asked the question by using quick parts. Okay? That's the premise. Now, it took me two minutes to explain the premise, so this is not going to be a short video. Um, let's go to the Insert tab, and we're going to create quick parts. Now normally in the insert area when you go there if your cursor is not down in the body of the mail form all of the uh, insert commands on the ribbon will be grayed out and you're wondering what's wrong with me why can't I see the quick parts why won't it light up for me and to light it up you click anywhere in the body of the email form and all of those commands will light up and become available to you. Now what I want to do is first highlight that entire first block of text I've typed. I want to make a quick part out of it. A quick part is a type of uh, Word or Outlook building block. I say Word or Outlook because they're really interchangeable. Um, Word is the email editor in Outlook, so it's the same thing really. And you can do this in Word equally as, as well as in Outlook. But I'm in Outlook now, and I've highlighted this first paragraph. I've selected it. I'm going to click the drop down next to quick parts and one of my choices is save selection to quick part gallery. See I have a couple of entries in there which are known as auto text entries. Um, Microsoft has been very confused about the naming of these building blocks or quick parts or auto text or whatever you want to call them. They're all just a species of building block. So I'm going to uh, click on the save selection to quick part gallery. I have to give it a name, so let's call it Login Problems with no space, although I could have used a space. And my normal behavior will be to insert the content only at, uh, at the insertion point, and it will be stored in normal email.dotm, you see. Uh, that way it travels along with your Outlook program. After I save it, it will be available in all of my email forms that are based on the normal email dot dotm template. Okay, let's click OK. Now let's take a look at that quick art or quick parts gallery again. And there it is, login problems. And to insert this now, all I need to do is click somewhere and click on it. 
Uh, but more on that later. Let's create a couple other uh, quick parts. Here's the answer to the question, why can't I log into the course yet? Because I haven't made it available. Let's go to our quick parts and save it as a quick part gallery and call it not ready yet. I like saving my names with no spaces, uh, but spaces are permitted. And finally, let's go get our third quick part when a student is asking for an add code. And I have all of this helpful information, but it's a pain to type it every time. Let's highlight this block of text. Go to our quick parts and save the selection, that is what is highlighted, to the quick part gallery and call it permission code and click OK. Okay, now I have three of these quick parts available to me. And let's minimize this email form and click on New Email and go to the Insert tab. None of the commands are lit up, you notice, because I'm not in the form yet. I click in the form. Now they're all lit up. And let's say I want to add, a student has written to me saying, can I get a permission code to add your course? And I say, uh, dear Bill, yes you can and then form a new paragraph and click on permission code and there's that block of text. I no longer have to type it. Let's say we want to answer the problem about uh, answer the question about login problems. Insert that. You see how simple it is to insert those blocks of text. Also let me tell you a little shortcut that's available to you if you simply type the first few letters or if it's unique the first letter of the quick part and then press the F3 key, uh, it will fill in the rest of the name and insert the quick part for you. So that's, that's a little tip that makes it even quicker to work with quick parts. <laughs> okay, now what if I need to delete one of these quick parts? The way you do it is to click the drop down on the quick part gallery, right click and choose organize and delete and then you can see your list of your uh, quick parts here, your building blocks. Uh, this is what they call the building block organizer. You can click delete, answer yes, you're sure, and it's gone. So that's how you uh, control them. Also, uh, I recommend, and let me go back to that form that I uh, first created the quick parts from with the quick parts as the subject, uh, that you not send this to anyone, but that you save this form. I'm going to, I could click the disk here to save it, or file, save, or save as. It'll be saved in your drafts folder. You don't want to send it to anyone, but in your drafts folder you'll have those quick parts in case you ever need to edit them and change them uh, by, by deleting an old one and replacing it with a new one. So uh, that's quick parts. It's a great time saver, also works in Word, and I recommend you try it. Thanks for listening.